Hey football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we've got some spicy drama brewing in the Premier League. Nottingham Forest owner, Evonelos Marinikis, is not happy with the chief executive Richard Masters. Why? Well, Masters made a comment that Forest and Everton are small clubs. Ouch, Marinikis didn't hold back his disappointment, calling Masters careless for his remark. And you know what? Marinikis has a point. Forrest, a two-time European Cup winner, and Everton are both big clubs with a rich history. They deserve more respect. Marinikis went on to say that Forrest and Everton have massive support from their fans. In fact, in Nottingham and the surrounding region, there are about 2.2 million people supporting these clubs. That's no small number. And let's face it, Teams with solid supporter bases are the ones that often go on to win trophies. But here's the thing, it's not just about winning trophies. Marinikis believes that the power of the supporters is what makes a team strong, even when they're not playing well. The support from the fans can make a huge difference on the pitch, and that's something we can all agree on. Now, Forrest and Everton are facing potential sanctions for alleged breaches of the Premier League's profitability and sustainability rules but that doesn't mean they are small clubs. They are fighting back, with Forrest already submitting their response to the charges. They've got a strong team of experts and former club officials ready to defend them. But let's not forget, today's news isn't just about the drama between Marinikis and Masters. It's about an important conference happening at the city ground. This conference is all about tackling racism and gender inequality in football. Football icons like Cherry Henry, Lillian Thuram, and Christian Karambia are attending, along with experts, academics, industry leaders, and football fans. It's a joint initiative between Nottingham Forest and the Weatherhead Centre at Harvard University. This conference aims to create a platform for in-depth debates on the challenges of racial and gender equity in the game. It's about driving positive change in the sport we all love. And that's something we can all get behind. So, let's keep an eye on the developments between Marinikis and Masters, but let's also celebrate the efforts being made to make football more inclusive and fair for everyone. Stay tuned for more updates on Football News Center. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest football news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.